Okay, so there are quite a few cases, I think, you know, um, that like, you know, may you may well need to uh, assess the impact of automated vehicles in your network. Uh, primarily, the maybe you, primarily you need to test that like for different penetration level, 20%, 50%, 70%, on and on and on. So uh, there, here's a quick way that you can do that with an assumption that you already have a model that is being calibrated. So here's some background. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with this, uh, PTV was, uh, I mean, fortunate enough to be a part of this, like, you know, European Union research, you know, uh, uh, funded project, you know, European Union funded uh, research project called uh, Coexist Horizon 2020 project, where they were doing the test run to gather the information of that, like, you know, uh, AV behaviors, and then we have implemented that into VSIM back in 2020. If you want to know more about those, there are various resources that you can get more information on. Uh, you can go to our PTV Talks website uh, that you can see on the link and then watch that like, you know, uh, uh, presentation that was given by our own, like, you know, Peter Zucanic. Uh, or you can go to Coexist website for further resources as well. So what you can do with an assumption again, that you already have a model that, you know, is being calibrated and ready to go. Uh, you can use, uh, you can bring in those like, you know, particular objects that we have you that we uh, have defined and suggesting you to use uh, from this file that you can find here called example training, autonomous vehicle, I mean, parenthesis, AV, AV base settings. In here, what you're gonna be able to find and what you'll need to bring in as well is suggested acceleration and deceleration functions, both maximum and suggest, uh, desired. And then some of those like desired speed distributions that you can play out with. And then uh, driving behaviors that uh, is defined as cautious, normal, and aggressive. Those uh, main objects contain like, you know, I mean, uh, the other secondary objects that needs to be brought in, which are time distributions, primarily for uh, driving behaviors and uh, 3D, 3D models, which you, know, you could update as well, and vehicle types, vehicle classes, and link behavior types. Let's open up BSIM and see what we could do with that. Uh, okay. First and most of all, this is like you know, how that VSIM AV base setting model looks like. There are various types of like you know uh, driving behaviors defined here. So like you know coexist, AV cautious, AV normal, and aggressive. So car following model is going to be set to be like you know certain you know um, headway and you know being defined. And then like, you know, some other component could be some other like, you know, uh, lane change components, as well as autonomous driving uh, parameters to be either turned on or turned off. So one thing that you'll need to make sure that is that like, you know, oh, this like use implicit stochastics turn off so that you can mimic those uh, autonomous vehicle, automated vehicle behaviors. So those are the things. And also there are some other aspects such as like, you know, maximum acceleration functions and so on and so forth. So there are like car AV and heavy vehicle AV types of functions that you can use as well. Okay, with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and open up another file, which I'm gonna assume that like it has been calibrated. And uh, on top of that, you know, what you could do with that particular model, particular model, to do a quick and a quick uh, automated vehicle impact assessment study. So let's say this is like you know a uh, calibrated model. What you're going to need to do is go to file uh, and then read additionally and select network. And I will need to find uh, where that file is at. Uh, that particular file that uh, that we're going to be importing all the data from. So in this particular case, you could be using AV base settings and click open. And it'll ask you, and it, it will ask you what you want to bring in. We don't need to bring in all the data, but there are a couple of, actually quite a few that we can bring in. So first of all, you can click on like mark non for reading 
and go with maximum acceleration, acceleration and deceleration related components, and desired speed distribution, and time distribution, like what I've mentioned in all your slides, 2D, 3D, and occupancy distributions as well, because uh, some of those vehicle type requires uh, occupancy information, vehicle types and classes, driving behavior, and link behavior types. And then you can click OK. Now, what you're going to be able to see here is that, like, you know, there are certain vehicle types being added here coal, AV, cautious, normal, aggressive, heavy vehicle, so on and so forth. The only thing that you'll need to do from this point and on is go to traffic and vehicle composition and update this vehicle composition, for example, to have AV in there. Let me expand this. So if you want to try out this AV normal case, you can try that, select that. Uh, and also I'll add one for uh, heavy vehicles and AV normal, right? And in here, the only thing then after that, like that you'll need to play around with is updating this relative flow. So let's say it's gonna be 90% for cars, and then like you know, half of those are gonna be human driven and half of the are half half of them are gonna be AV. Then I can say 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.01, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, so that it could be like you know, half that 50 50 for human driven and, and, and automated vehicles. And then you can create this as an additional scenario. For like those of you who have not used the Scenario Manager before, we have another uh, video clips that you can use to learn more about it. And then test out various penetration cases as well. You can hit run and then even use that uh, uh, scenario comparison function to uh, see an impact of that as well. So again, the beauty is that like you can just go ahead and use your calibrated model and bring this in and then update those like in you know, relative flows within the traffic you know vehicle composition and then produce a result so that you can put down the minimum amount of amount of effort to get the like you know the information that you're looking for